Good morning, Chris. My name is Philip Rulo with Rultract, and I'm going to quickly go over the five options that I had explained in the email uh, just to provide a visual. First of all, this is the very old top post that you might have in-house. Some of your systems are old enough to actually have this oldest generation top post. Next is option uh, number two, which is a little bit newer of a top post, and you may have some of these as well. So you can see the difference here with option number two. It is a little bit higher than one, and it also reaches further out over the table. Option three is our current generation top post. And you can see that it obviously provides additional height over the two older ones and also reaches further out over the table. So my recommendation would be if you have these two, uh, I would get rid of them and replace them with a standard length top post, the newest. Uh, this will provide the additional height. Now I don't know where your surgeon uh, is coming from, the new surgeon. He may have had what we refer to as the extended length top post, and that's very tall. So we can find out where he's coming from and see if he did actually have one of these. If not, he probably would be happy having the current generation standard length top post over your two older, shorter top post. The other option is the extender bar, the riser extender bar. You can see if I put this on even our standard length newest generation top post, it brings it up to the height of the extended length top post. Now the reason I like this better is if you take your new generation standard length top post, let's go ahead and take these two old ones out of here, almost done. Take your standard length top post and you put your riser on. As I said, you have the additional height, but if you don't need the additional height, you go ahead and take this off. Uh, if you have the extended length top post, you're kind of stuck at this height. So if you have a smaller patient, you might have too much height for a very small chest. The other problem that I have with this extended length top post, although it's very useful for many applications, it does not fit in the standard size tray that all of your other roll tracked equipment is probably in. You can see it's sticking out there in the bottom. And then it has to be wrapped separate and brought into the room uh, and pulled as a separate item, which could be a problem. So what I would recommend is getting rid of your older top post. And I think you would need to purchase three of these new standard length top posts because they will give additional height over your older ones. And maybe pick one of these up uh, as well and put it in one of the trays for larger patients or put one of these in every tray. Uh, I hope I didn't confuse you too much. Thank you very much. Again, for the years of support uh, that Sacred Heart has given us. And thanks for taking the time to watch the video. Have a nice day.